I remember when they got me to audition for the part, and I nearly didn't come in for the audition because it was such, it was that scene where James meets Kate. You can't be Kate. I'm Kate Willis. No, 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 no. And it's such a weird scene to audition for, because it's like, what is that? Like, what does that feel like? What does that look like? And doubly hard when you're just doing it just you to a reader in an audition room, you know, not unlike this one. It's just like this, you know, it's just like, you've got to make, you've got to believe everything. So I nearly didn't come in for the audition because I thought, I'm not going to be able to do this and it's going to look, I'm going to look silly. And I talked to a friend the night before and he was like, no, just treat it like an exercise, you know? And I was like, okay, and went in and did. But it was such a, it's such a vulnerable scene and like, you know, crying and stuff during it that they went, yeah, he's good at that, but we don't think he's a cop. He doesn't feel, like it's not, he's just, hard enough to be a cop. I was like, oh yeah, but you didn't give me a cop scene. So they brought me back for a cop scene. I did that, you know, just like, come in here, all right, enough out of you, or whatever it was. And then they went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, bring him back again for more cop. I'm like, yeah, righto. And came back again and, and finally to get the part. So the cop aspect of James was, was almost secondary to this sort of soft, vulnerable guy. And all that stuff happened. It all fused together in that first season. And each time I come back to it, I feel that again.